Good morning, Nancy Showalter here, taking a nice little walk in the early morning in beautiful Ecuador. You know, when you have an online business, it's really important that you follow up with your leads and with your uh, people that you're contacting because usually with an online business, you really aren't having face-to-face -face contact with people other than maybe you know, in a video or talking uh, via video. So follow-up is very important. People don't always buy the very first time that they hear about an offer. In fact, they need to see it probably about seven times, they say, before they really are ready to buy. So it's important to follow up. Now, sometimes people say, uh, I don't know how to write. I don't like being on video. But you know, email is still, email follow-up is still one of the best ways to really follow up with your leads. Now, you say, but I don't really know how to write or I'm not a writer and what do I write about? Well, here's the thing. There are a number of things you can write about. I would say there's like five main things that you can consider that you can write about. But first of all, the most important thing is you write like you talk. It should be conversational. You should be able to just talk normal, connect with your customer. Think of you're just working with and talking to one person. That's it. You're not talking to everybody. You're talking to your avatar. Who is your customer? Who are you serving? So let's look at the ways that you could be uh, writing. One of the most powerful ways is personal stories. There's nothing more interesting to people than to hear your personal story, maybe problems you've had, how you've overcome them, and they can relate to this because that's then an emotional connection with people, which is very, very important because we know that people don't buy really with, because of facts or what your company or product does. They buy emotionally and they connect with you. You need to build that trust and that likable factor. So personal stories are very, very powerful. Just go back and think in your life, what, what are some of the experiences you've had? And it doesn't have to always just be an overcoming experience. It could be an experience where you learned something. You know, this was a life lesson. Or you read a book and this struck you and then you talk about it. So there's all kinds of things that you can do with your personal story. Now, another very good category is how-to information. In other words, how to do something. So whatever your skills, whatever your business is, whatever, you know, how to lose weight, how to build a, uh, a desk, you know, if you, how, how to whatever, whatever your knowledge is, how to take awesome pictures, how to do great videos, just all depends. So how to, is really good topic to write or share about. Another one would be, the third one we can talk about is some kind of announcements. Well, you know, you can announce a contest or you can announce um, a free giveaway. Uh, contests are great that, that people really love contests so that they can win something. So there's a lot of different things. You can announce a new product you can announce an event. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with announcements. So then the fourth one is product reviews. This is very popular. You know, a book review or a product that you've come across or something that you use in your business that you can actually tell people about and the advantages of it. People love that. That's very valuable information. and. Um, you can really connect with your audience and be giving them quality information. And that's exactly what it's all about. You give them something 
that is valuable. You become, you be a value to your customers. And then sometimes it is just your personal everyday things. Now the fifth one would be opinion pieces. So you can write your opinions about various things. It could be situations that are happening, happening currently in the world or in your community or, or whatever. And opinion pieces are also very, very good that you can um, you know, strike interest with your, with your customers, your potential customers. So five ways, remember, first of all, you just talk, write like you talk. In fact, you could actually take a tape recorder and you could just talk and then have it transcribed and put it into um, uh, an email or a letter or a written piece. So personal stories, how-to information, announcements, product reviews, and opinion pieces. So you know, this gives you a wide variety of things that you can write about. Follow up with your clients. So you have no reason now, you can get busy, you can start creating a series of emails using these five topics. So if you wanna learn more about the basics of what you really need and how you set this all up with your online business, then you can go to www.wealthsystembreakthrough.com. That's wealthsystembreakthrough.com. Just click on the link that's below this video and you'll be able to get to that information. I have a free book that you can get that will start to give you how building your list, why that's so important to have a list. So wealthsystembreakthrough.com. You have a great day and we'll talk again later. Bye-bye.